finally feels like we're on a cargo ship again. Good morning, Klats, from the ancient city of Akko. Uh, if you guys saw us, we were here last night, and uh, we slept here, and now we are heading off to the city of Haifa. Moshe has actually found an interesting way to get there that I won't talk about until we actually confirm that we're doing it. But, uh, we might be heading out to sea. If you guys remember, behind me right now is the ancient seawall, also the Haifa Bay, which uh, may or may not be where we're about to head into. Aha, friends, as you can see what looks behind me to be a ferry line, we're going on a ship again. For as much knowledge as I do have about Israel, I actually didn't even know this thing existed and I doubted there were even ferries in Israel. But behind me is the Malkat Akko, or also known as Queen of Akko ship, and we are gonna be boarding it and sailing across the Bay of Haifa, all the way there behind me, all the way to the city of Haifa. It's gonna be a nice, nice little joy ride, and I'm super excited for it, because you know I love being on ships and I love being on the water. Moshi, how are you doing today? <coughs> hey Vidal, how are you doing today? <coughs> okay, that's gotta stop. What? Che, are you excited for this? Woohoo! Vidal, are you excited for this? Oh yeah! Oh god, you're really close. She wanted to get ready? Get yeah, ready. Right. Hey Vidal, is it, how is it? Where is we're it? We're gonna do it. Hey, who's ready to go sailing? How many times we're gonna do Whoa. it? Whoa! <laughs> uh, who's ready to go sailing? We're all done with this bitch. Uh, 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 uh. on the ship now. These are the little tickets they give you for 30 shekel a pop. And yeah, this feels way, way more like a cargo ship than, uh, than sailing, which I love, because it finally feels like I'm on one again. For those of you that are new here, that heard me hinting about the fact that we're gonna go on another cargo ship. I hope that this is kind of a teaser for you of what that experience will be like, because we definitely are heading on another cargo ship. I know I talked about it on the sailing video, and I'm, I'm really excited for it. That's why we're, we're continuously trying to do more things out on sea and like on ships and stuff like this, because uh, I'm really, really excited for the journey, and I'm looking forward to doing it again and showing you guys what it's like. It's so funny walking on the ship when it's just bouncing around like this. Oh, geez. I'm really glad that Moshe found out about this way of getting to Haifa because otherwise I don't think we would have done anything like this. I've already stressed it. I'm, I'm really, I'm really been into like being on the ocean. It's always something I've wanted to do is like be on for prolonged periods of time. And now that I have an audience of people that like want to see that, it gives me even more of an incentive to do it. And so, yeah, I'm really happy about this. It went from being like, all right, let's just take a train ride or a bus ride to the city to like, let's cross the bay on a little ship. And there's like no one on this. I don't think this is a very well-known uh, mode of transportation. There's like us and like four other people. And that's it. And it's a pretty big ship. So beyond the awesome view of all the cargo ships that you see coming into here, we actually spotted the Bayi Gardens, which uh, we're gonna be going to later today. You can see the entire thing from right off the coast. It looks epic. I've never seen a view like that before. This, this trip in Israel, I keep saying this, has been just seeing Israel from new perspectives every single time, whether it's the drone or this new camera or all the modes of transportation we're taking. We're seeing all this stuff that we've seen before just from these really cool perspectives. Guys, check out all the cargo ships back here. I am really, really excited to be boarding one of these massive ships very, very soon. Anyways, we are pulling into port right now. We'll be there in probably like five minutes. we have made it to port 
This feels ridiculously similar to boarding on a cargo ship. Also, since the cargo ship board is literally right there, I guess that's why. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave the ship now. This was this was oodles and doodles of fun, and uh, we've now arrived in one of my favorite cities in Israel. Let's check this out. This is an Israeli cruise ship. I didn't know that Israel even made cruise ships. We saw it when I was pulling in, and I looked it up real quick. It's actually an Israeli an Israeli cruise line, which is really awesome. All right, we have made it to kind of like the central strip of Haifa here, and uh, that's the garden right there. An incredible view of it, but we're gonna get an even better view from the top. Right now we're catching a bus to get to the top of it so we can actually film from up there. Woo! Gosh darn, that was a crazy bus ride. Finally off the bus, now it's time to go find the gardens. So guys, as we do on this channel, I'm gonna teach you a little something something today about the Baha'i people that are here in Haifa and why, why there's a beautiful garden here. In just a second, we're about to get to the gardens and teach you a little something something. All right, so we had just officially made it into the garden. Unfortunately, the big area is already closed for the day because it is a religious site. Uh, it's not open like 24 seven, but we have made it to a little floor here. It's a free entry. All you gotta do is like a security check and there's these two balconies that you can come look out and see the whole garden from. All right, so the Bai Gardens are kind of like the Mecca of the Bai religion. This place was kind of set up as a Garden of Eden, has a bunch of shrines to the biggest, uh, the biggest holders of, of respect in the Bai religion. The religion itself was formed in Iran, and it actually kind of moved here when, uh, when Israel was under Syrian control. Somehow Haifa became one of the major centers for the religion here on Earth, and now there's currently like six to seven million people who actually practice the religion. The religion itself takes in elements from Judaism, Islam, Christianity, even Buddhism, and kind of mixes them into like one uniformed religion. And just so you know, for you traveling or thinking about traveling somewhere, there's actually gardens like this for the Bai religion in a couple spots around the world. One is here, this I think is the major one. There's one near Baghdad in Iraq, there's one in Iran, and there's also one in Akko, the city that we came from, which is precisely right over there, across the sea. When you come here, it's important that you stay respectful to the religion. There's no eating or drinking or smoking allowed here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a holy place to the religion, so that's why it closes a little bit earlier. Um, and if you actually come earlier in the day without our crappy planning, you can go all the way down there to the end of the shrine and actually see it up close. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. This is one of Israel's top tourist attractions to come visit. So I highly recommend it when you're here in Israel. And it's free, so why would you not? All right, guys, it's the end of another wonderful day here in Israel. We've actually met up with Shula. She lives here in Haifa, and she's hosting us for the night tonight. All the boys, they've set up this beautiful little mattress wonderland here for us. And uh, she just wants to let you guys know a little something. Well, the Hebrew word of the day is onia, which means ship. And another thing, no, stop the camera. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get it in with you that way we, and then you gotta, <laughs> what are you say? What? Teach him the Hebrew word. Okay, so the Hebrew word for today is onia, which means ship. ship. Onia, which means ship. ship. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> Very good, Klatz. Okay, and what? You've learned a new word. What else? What other Hebrew word? No, uh, the outro for the rest of the day. Okay, so if you've been watching Tal's videos, as you can see, he has a wonderful life because he's traveling the world. He's having fun. He's following his dreams because you only live once. So don't hesitate. Follow your dreams. Love you long time. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. Good job. That was good. Nice.